Hi, this is Dr. Miller and welcome to EDU 671. Um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about ethics and, 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 and in the research process. You know, when we think of ethics in, in the normal sense, we think of, you know, what's right and what's wrong to do for someone. And that's true, that that is what ethics entails. But more specifically in action research or in the educational research period, when we think of ethics, there's three main things that we want to take in focus, and that's informed consent, confidentiality, and anonymity. So above all the other things that you want to do to make sure the right thing is done for your participants, you want to protect them mainly in those three areas. So that's the three areas you need to mention in, in your assignments. So uh, uh, informed consent is exactly what it says. Some type of written uh, informed consent from your participants or your participants' guardians that they can uh, participate in your research. And you want to make sure that you tell them everything about your research so that they can determine whether there's risk involved or not. Now keep in mind that there's always some kind of risk. There's almost never no risk. So any research I've always done, I call it low risk because I don't know what's, cons what's uh, uh, considered a risk to someone else. So I call it low risk. Um, the other thing you want to look at is, is, is what's called confidentiality. How are you going to keep the results and, and, and the data that you're collecting confidential so that no one uh, kind of knows the process of what's happening, what's going on in the research, your, your analysis process to be able to connect anything to anyone. And then on top of that, you want to look at um, what's called anonymity. Now, anonymity is a little different than confidentiality because anonymity uh, involves the coding process where from the beginning, you know, whether you have, you know, 15 or 20 students or participants or whatever the case may be, you code them with numbers or some type of system so there are no personal identifiers in play so that people can connect any of your, your research or the data you're collecting in your research to any participants, any specific participants. So slight difference between confidentiality and anonymity but makes a real large difference when you're talking about protecting your participants. So those are the three you need to think about and to keep in mind as you think of, of ethics in, in, the, in the educational research realm. That's confidentiality, anonymity, and informed consent. Thanks for listening and remember, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. This is, not, this is Dr. Miller. Welcome to EDU 671.